Hello! This will be the f my first Volts episode of the Diamond Zombie. I'm not supposed to show you that yet. I, I'm going to show you how to set up a nuclear or whatever kind of missile launcher you want. So first of all, you get a launcher platform. There are three different kinds of launcher platforms. Let me show you real quick. Uh, there is a green launch platform and a red one. They work with the green and red launcher control panels. These aren't as good as the other ones because these, I th I'm not 100% sure what the difference are, but I do know that these have different, the different amounts of, um, I guess that one, I, can't, I guess these just aren't as strong as the blue ones. Yeah, I think it's that one. All right, so um, to set up one, first you have to decide like a place. Cause I'm in a flatland, I'm just gonna throw it right there. And then, so once you have that, you set up a control planner panel one block in front of the this little black thing right there. And in order to actually get power running to it. First, instead of power, let's go about coordinates. So, you need a radar gun to get the coordinates. So, I built a little sheep pen over here. I hate sheep in Minecraft. They are pointless once you have a bed. Gosh dang it, pig. Oh. Uh, sheep, other than creating wool, they're completely pointless. So, I just put a bunch of them. I should put creepers. Oh, I didn't think of that. Um, so, you get your radar gun and you right click where you want to shoot the missile. It's got to be a certain amount of spaces away, so if it's not, I'm sorry. If it's too close, then you have to go a little bit farther out. So once you have that, you right-click this, and you can do it as many times as you want, because it'll have it. It'll store your information, so like if I want to put a, like a missile launcher here, I want to do the same thing. I want to launch two missiles there, I can right-click here, and it'll give you another one. But I don't want that because oh one of the karate things about volts is that whenever you destroy something it will give you one of those items so that's really cruddy um so once you have this set up I just put a redstone so I don't you need a lever to turn it on and launch the missile so I just put a little redstone so we can watch the missile take off so you use your you use insulated insulated HV wire. Um, I'm not sure which one of these that's, um, I'm not sure which one of these it is in, so I just go, always go to creative mode, creative plus mode, and I type in radar. I mean, um, I always type in HV, and it'll give you it right there. So, oh, I am where, these are really cool. I just saw them in engineer, engineer's overalls, so I stuck them on, and they have suspenders, and their overalls, so I just thought that was really cool. So I decided to wear them. So once you have it, oh, it also gives you one armor. One armor. Um, so once you have a little bit of wire, you, uh, I think six is the most that you can have, and then it stops working. Three, four, five, Six. So then you connect that all with the insulated wire on the spot that has the red. It has to have the red because otherwise it won't like connect up and you won't get electricity from it. It also has to be daytime or else because obviously these are solar panels. If you look at them, they're solar panels. So you obviously need the sunlight. So once you have it, it will it should start oh there it goes. Alright, so Here's the one that I already created. Oh, that's going to be too close. Oh, well. So let me just choose a missile. Um, Contagious Sonic. Oh, I've not seen... Where'd it go? I've not seen what the hypersonic does yet. So when, if you have a missile, you can right-click this, and it'll put them, immediately put the missile on. So let me just... Uh, Wait. Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry if there is um background noise. It's because it is really hot here, so we have a couple fans running. All right, so this whenever it has 800 out of 800, it'll say ready to launch. So that means if you go back to your lever, I'm gonna make it a little bit farther back. All right. So. Whoa. Oh, I missed. Whoa. Whoa! The sheep! They just got launched in the air! Oh my goodness! That is awesome! Oh! Wow! So, if you're a griefer, that would be a very good idea. Oh, did it destroy? Oh, okay, good. Um. My favorite missile out of all of them is probably, you know what, we'll go to the Red Matter Missile later. Uh, you know what, I'll do the Red Matter Missile first. I'll just, um, my favorite, favorite, favorite missile is the Dark Matter Missile. This one's also really cool. Wait, is it? Alright, it's ready. <laughs> my, my favorite part of la about launching missiles is, um... Alright, so look at this. It has the animation for destroying the dragon. And it will last for a few minutes and it will just suck a hole in the ground. And it just like, it... It sucks blocks up and then it'll blow them up. So, we'll let that go and I'll show you the dark matter. Wait. Huh, I have even said it anyway. Oh, well, continuation matter this one. You can go through those. Now that you understand it, you can, um, mess around. Let me just make a little area for me to trap some sheep and blow them up. So, let's fly this way. Man, that is ridiculous. Look how big it's getting. Um, I'm going to put down a few of sheep for this. Alright, so... This is my number one favorite missile ever. And I'm, I'm still amazed at what it can do. Me and my friends, we couldn't play together because we couldn't figure out the server up. If any of you have actually figured out how to put a server, make a forge server, uh, will you please contact me and let me know because I still have not figured it out. I've watched numerous videos and it has not been working like, at all. Um, Whatever, like it works, but if you try to, um, uh, it's enough sheep. If you try to, uh, like place down some of the forge things, it doesn't let you. It, it, I think it, like, um, still thinks it is, um, like normal Minecraft. So if any of you can help me, that would be a massive help. Uh oh. Alright. So, man, yeah, it's still going. Alright, so here's the anti map. What happened? Okay, there we go. <laughs> How is that still going? That's hilarious. Alright, so anti matter missile time. I love the animation for the missile. I'm sorry, I've said that multiple times, but oh, it's like dead on. Uh oh, holy crud! Now you see why this is my favorite missile. This is another very, very good missile if you just want to grief like a whole town. It just makes this like massive, 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 massive crater in the ground. So, me and my friend just like shot like three of them into one crater. So, to end this, I'm going to put... Oh my goodness, it's still going. I'm going to launch three antimatter missiles at once at that crater. And see what it does. 
Let's get away in this. Freaking fire it is a freaking um mosquito. Uh oh. There we go. So oh, by the way, um if you guys haven't noticed yet, it will go by days. Um for every daylight cycle, um for uh volts will like tick a day. So it says like day four, day three, day two. It's because um every daylight cycle, I guess it's just like a for like those let's play videos, it's like day three of living out here in the wilderness or whatever. I don't actually watch those. Alright, so that one's almost done. That one's finished, so I can take this. And I can use it. Oh, also, if you want to, like, hide where your wire is, doing this will work very well. Uh, just, like, pushing it underneath the world, underneath your stuff. That will hide the wires very well. But if you like an industrial-type look, you can put it above land. Either way, I think it looks awesome. But if you're, like, one of those people that need to be, like, neat and tidy, you can put all of, like, the wires under the ground and just, like, cover it up like that. So this should be done. All right, that one's almost done. Let me just get a few antimatter missiles. How is that still going? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think last time I stopped it by launching an an uh, antimatter missile at it. This is a red matter missile, by the way. I might have already said that, but I'm just gonna tell you again in case, like, some people don't really like. Well, some people don't catch me the first time because I'm not very specific. My goodness. Target too close. Oh, because it's still set at the, um. Sorry, guys. This is still set at the, uh. It's still set at the one where I shot the red matter missile, so let me just jump into this crater and... Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to delay some of these. Gosh dang it. Freaking MacBook. Yes, I have a Roblox. Atomic science. Oh, I'm gonna go. Alright, so let me put one here, put one here, put one here, and put one here. Alright, there. So now. That needs to stop. Oh, it's funny because there's an antimatter bomb that does the same thing as the antimatter. Oh, geez. I'll just put a few antimatter, I'll just put it down on an antimatter explosive just right here and call it a day. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe only to, um, 
give me. You know, I don't even ask anything for you. The only thing I'm asking is at least a hundred likes, please. This is my very first video I've ever done, ever that I've actually posted on YouTube. So, 100 likes would be like the coolest I've ever had. <laughs> Alright, thank you.